Hello everyone, I'm Matt, aka Legion Rex, and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. Last time we just completed Novaria, which means that now it's time to go talk to some of our crewmates just to give them, just to, you know, ask them around and see what they have to say about the whole ordeal. Hi, Joker. How things going? Boy, am I glad to be off of Novaria. I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. I have to go. All right, see ya. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right. Let's go talk to Caden. Let's see what Caden has to say. Hi, Caden. How's it going? Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benazzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's heard of it all. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. Fair enough. Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? All right. Get those. Hi, Liara. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. <sighs> that is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. All right. Let's go talk to the people downstairs. They might not have anything to say because they did conversations, I think, maybe early, so. Never a dull moment with you, Shepard. You ever go on any missions like ours before? Saving the galaxy from certain destruction? No. But I've had my share of adventures. Do you remember any that stick out? A few. I remember one time I was hired by a Volus diplomat. What an ass. I guess even politicians have need of mercs from time to time, huh? Time to time. If it wasn't for politicians, I'd be out of work. They're always looking for ways to get ahead. This one was no different. He wanted me to erase his past. Get rid of an old friend who knew too much. Huh. His old friend turned out to be an Asari commando. Oof. I can see why that might give you pause. What? No. Alina and I were old friends. Sort of. We met when we were both contracted to kill the same Turian. Neither of us wanted the other one to get him first. We spent more time fighting each other than tracking that Turian. An Asari commando mercenary? That's unusual, isn't it? I wouldn't say it's unusual. Mercs come in all shapes. <laughs> anyway, when I told Alina about the diplomat's contract, she and I had a good laugh about it. 
So what did you do? Well, I wasn't going to lose the contract, but I respected Alina. In the end, I let her pick the location where we'd fight. She chose some old Solarian space station overrun with mercs and smugglers. That way we didn't have to worry about hurting any innocent bystanders. <laughs> she always was a bit of a softie. What happened on the station? What didn't happen? For two days I chased her through that station, used my entire store of ammunition, had to kill a bunch of mercs and use their crap weapons. By the third day, the station was barely holding together. The mercs were dead or gone, life support was failing, but I had her. She'd locked herself in the med labs. She was trying to patch herself up. Damn tough, that one. Then just when I thought I had her, the station's core went critical. Barely made it back to my ship in time. I assume the Asari Commando didn't make it? I watched the station from a distance. I never saw her leave. And when that place blew, there was nothing left larger than a Turian's right nut. So I headed back to the diplomat to give him the good news and collect my pay. But before I got halfway there, Alina sent me a message. Better luck next time. <laughs> now, I'm not superstitious. But if someone can survive that, well, they deserve to live. At least, for a bit longer. What about the diplomat? He wanted her dead. I told him the truth. <laughs> Alina was still alive and she was really pissed. I told him if he wanted to live, he'd need me around to protect him. And he believed you. <laughs> he kept me on as his personal guard until he died. Natural causes. Easiest job I've ever had. A little boring, but credits are credits. So long, Rex. Shepard. I love that story. It's such a good story. Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. You know, you really should talk to Chisoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? -on -one? I should get back to my duty, Skipper. Rifles don't maintain themselves. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Dismiss, Chief. Sir. All right, Commander. Hi, Garrus. I wanted to thank you. What for, Garrus? For everything. Taking me with you, letting me be part of your team. I've learned a lot. I've thought a lot about what you've told me. About not sacrificing innocence to achieve the goal. About finding the best way through, not just the fastest. And I've been thinking about Dr. Salio, too. I'd convinced myself that he deserved to die, but then I started thinking about why I wanted him dead. I realized it wasn't because of what he did to those people. That was part of it, but I think most of it was because he got away from me. He escaped under my watch, and I didn't like that. I let it become personal. Words mean nothing until you turn them into action, Garrus. What are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going back to CSEC. I think I can make a difference there. I'll also reapply for Spectre training, but I'll do it right. I won't compromise myself to get there. If the people I'm sworn to protect can't trust me, then I don't deserve to be the one protecting them. I'm glad you see it that way. Keep that in mind when we meet Saren. Don't worry, Commander. I will. Awesome! I'll talk to you after I'm done talking to Tali. Hi, Tali. How's it going? Hey, Shepard. Do you need something? Oh, you gotta. I should go. See you later. Well, I guess she has nothing to say. I think we've exhausted most of the dialogue options at that point. Looking for supplies? Why, yes, I am. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Okay. Uh, I think we might be able to afford some of the 
with Spectre weapons. Yeah, we can. Let's compare, actually. Uh... Yes, I want the shotgun. Thank you. And I'm also going to sell a bunch of stuff that we don't need. Okay. And now if we go to my... Marco, and did you go to my equipment? I'll switch over to... Shotgun. Alrighty, let's go to the elevator, let's go back up. Now, I believe we have one more system, we have a new system to go to because we beat Novaria. Um, so, do we have a quest for that or do we not? We do not, no. But I do, I'm pretty sure I know which one it is. It's right over here. Yeah, it's stick stata, I'm pretty sure. Is it stick stata? Or is it hockey? I'm trying to remember which one it is. Ah, uh, yeah, and I think it's stick stata. These don't sound familiar. Let's go to Erebus first. Stress signal. Patching through to you. Mayday! 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 This is Lieutenant Marie Durand, 314th Infantry, Alliance 10th Frontier Division. The listening post has been overrun by unidentified hostile life forms. Request immediate extraction. Alright, yeah, this is it. So. Data disk. All right. Uh, for this, I want to bring Rex and I'm going to bring Garrus. This is a mission that's only available after you finish, uh, after you finish Novaria for obvious reasons. When you see, uh, Artifact. It's, it's probably a Solarian thing. Yep. And I think that means we're done with the Solarian. Yeah, we're done with the with that now. Which means you only got one light metal and and four heavy uh, heavy metals. Kind. Okay. Uh, for Garrus, we are going to give you maximum tactical armor, and we're gonna. Start pumping points into assault training. And for Rex, let's max out your fro and fitness. And also give you points into warp. Okay. You may be noticing that for all characters, I am not putting any points into 
the stasis. How do you get stasis in Mass Effect 1 is not really that helpful. I never found it to be. Um, it's better in the later games, though. I found in uh, 2 and 3 that they are much more helpful, especially in uh, It's extremely good. But in the first game, uh, the way stasis works is more just kind of like a stall for enemies, less so. so you, can't, you can't hurt them, you can't do damage to them while they're in stasis. So it's a little bit of a waste, I find. Especially when there's much better powers you can pump into, like throw, or lift. I find it looks really good. Right, right. I keep saying that, uh, and I mean it. A lot of the planets have been really upgraded. This, the Legendary Edition looks wonderful. Like, it plays wonderful. PFC particle boards were shut down for, uh, shut down after breaking into the tunnels just below the surface. The second equipment was stented with the logo of Terracotta Mining Consortium. There's no cross sign of the mining crew. Let's go look inside. Anything inside? I don't know what that noise was, but it was terrifying. I think that might be the Rachni, I think. Uh, the Rachni was soft. Yeah, that's, I think, Rachni. All right, let's go to the listening post and see what's up. Palladium. Heavy metal. I don't need heavy metal, but good to have the EXP and the money anyways. Alright. And there it is. Durand. First Lieutenant Durand, sir. 3rd Brigade, 14th Infantry Regiment, and I am damn glad to see you. We heard you needed some backup. Actually, we need to get the hell out of here. But I guess your ship couldn't carry us all. They dropped us here a few months back. We get supplies every couple weeks. We didn't see anything local that was more dangerous than Lycan. Yesterday, these animals started coming out of the ground. No idea where they're from. 
This is what's left out of 90 men. I'm the ranking officer. We do have a ship in orbit. We could bombard them. Wouldn't do much good. They're moving around deep underground. The only time they come near the surface, and they're right on our position. You bombard them, you take us out too. Why are you out here in the first place? There's been a lot of pirate activity in this cluster. We set up a chain of listening posts in the local systems, in case they have a staging base. Uh, they're not animals, they're a sentient species. You study history? They're called Rachna. Never heard of them. Can't say I care. What we just fought was a crow. Our seismic sensors are picking up a crap load more on their way up from underground. We've got five minutes, tops. We might be able to hold them off if we were at peak. But you can see the fighting's busted this place up. Do what you can to secure your position. We'll see if we can get some of your defenses operation. Aye, aye, Commander. You heard the man. Everybody pull magazines and grenades. Take a leak and a drink while you can. If anyone wants to smoke, it's as good a time as any. Alright, uh, turn on the generator. There we go. I love how the game has glitched, so like, my squad mates don't have to take it out, which is funny as hell to me. Basically, just a starter troopers level. <laughs> just, just absolutely just annihilate every boat you see. I'm doing my part. I love starter troopers. Uh, <laughs> such a great movie. out. Yeah, you could get your track in that.
Holy hell, sir. Talk about a near-run thing. You all right? Never mind me. Are you all right? Still on my feet. But we've been fighting for almost 26 hours straight. None of us will be standing for long. There's one other thing I should mention. One of our other listening posts went offline three days ago. I don't know if it's coincidence, a pirate raid, or what. But if you want to check in on them... We'll check on them. I don't know why there are arachnid loose out here, but I intend to find out. Ma'am, we're getting a signal from one of the ground scan UAVs. A big hollow space about 500 meters under the surface. Right. That must be it. That must be where they're coming from. My people aren't in any condition for a clearing operation, though. Just point us in the right direction. You don't have to do that, Commander. We've bled them. We can probably hold until a bigger ship arrives to get us off-world. If you want to take a throw at it, we'll give you the coordinates. But it's your call. You saved our asses, Commander. Thanks. All right. There are, now they are over here. Uh, we're gonna go deal with them just for the extra EXP. We don't have to if we don't want to. Uh, but we will, uh, just go, disconnect go, go. the makeup from there. Yeah, that mission for a little bit is just, just mindless shooting at, like, uh, the fucking waves of Rachni. You just keep sending at you. Yeah, it could be a it could be a little bit more interesting um, than that, but I do appreciate uh, the sort of super sentence, because I'm a big fan of that movie and I'm a big fan of uh, Paul Bear. So always nice to see a good reference to Paul Bear. Oh, titanium. All right, light metal. I now have. Only rare earths, and I think I need three of them. Which I think we should be able to get, I'm pretty sure. Let's, uh, here. Let's get into the mine. Uh, yep, there we go. Locked crate. Let's go open the crate. this one over there. Hi! Oh, 
Rex killed him. Thank you. I think we're good, Shepard. It's hidden here. I do need to refill my meta gel after this. I hate. Oh, I hate the Brew Royals. They gave him biotics now. They didn't have that in the original. That was that. So that's a fun. For Wolves Rundgren, the main difference between a regular soldier and a brood warrior is that the brood warriors are males. Um, the other males are the colony. Because of the Rachni wants to do Smooth Warriors, the male gender Rachni only fight when a hive is severely repressed. This AT eliminated the Rachni. Okay then. Dealing with Rude Warriors is always fun, and by always fun, I mean not fun at all. It's always a bitch. I think Rakai in general are just some of the harder enemies in this game, to be honest, because they because they do so much damage and they go through shields, so. Alright. I want to level up my squad first. I'll level up myself. I'm going to go and give myself maximum pistols. And as for Garrus, I'm going to... I need to boost up assault training. And you, I'm going to... Put points of the war. Alright. Oh, let's get out of here. All right. Acheron has the other list speed post. <coughs> oh, it's coming me. in. Patch it through. Commander, I'm glad you're in the area. We've got an emergency situation, and you're the only one I can trust to get the job done. How can I help, Admiral? Biotic fanatics have hit a medical research station with a psychotropic drug. The drugs have temporarily driven researchers crazy, and the biotics are effectively using them as human shields. So if I shoot everything that moves, a lot of researchers are going to die. Exactly. A normal team could handle the biotics, but a lot of innocent researchers would die during the operation. That's why I contacted you. I'm hoping you can keep the casualties to a minimum. I'll do everything within my power to bring those researchers back safely, Admiral. I know you will, Commander. I'm sending you the station coordinates now. Fifth lead out. All righty. That's the plan I need to go to. Anything here? A light metal. That's it. That's it? Wow. Okay. Let's go land here then. Let's bring to Ashley and Caden.
Let's go to throw and lift. And then I'm gonna boost up electronics. For Ashley, I'm going to max out first aid and then start to max out combat armor. All right, let's go to the listening post, which that's the only thing here. Look at the barren wasteland that is this planet, with its lack of literally anything. Oh, there's stuff outside. You love to see it. Sorry, capsule. That probably has a. That probably has a matriarch stain in it. Rachni are so easy to deal with in the Mako compared to on foot. Use this all over, please. Dead bodies. And decryption lockers, let's go. Decryption lockers, weapon lockers. Yes, sir. All right, let's go clear out these Rachni. Sniped. All right, upgrade kit. Anything in here? Probably. I was worried though, Rachni workers were just gonna fucking swarm at me, to be honest. Open the storage lockers. All right, let's open the door. I'm still worried if they're gonna show up. All right, nope, nothing there. Terminal, let's open the terminal. Commander, you see this? They just received a supply run two days ago. The Rachni worked fast. Tell me about that supply ship. This planet is supposed to be uninhabited. The Rachni didn't come from nowhere. Hang on. Seems these things are drones, dispatched at irregular intervals from different depots to reduce the likelihood of tracking. 
Got it. It came from Argos Row. Wherever it is, there's probably more Rachni there. Let's get to the bottom of this. Aye, aye, Commander. The Drachni infestation on Altea seems to be the result of a supply drop from Argos Row. The logs downloaded from the freighter should allow you to backtrack the ship's course to its origin. Okay, then. That's good to know. Alright. It's time we, you know, get the hell out of Dodge. Let's go to the Normandy. I want to refuel on first stage before we head out to the ship, obviously. Which will take like a minute. Maybe even less than that by like 30 seconds. There we go. Let's go to Argos Row. Just right over here. And I believe it's coming from the Gorgon system, which is brand new. Vectra, nothing there. Anything in Ruo? Nothing in Ruo. Cameron Chablu Scale on? Nothing there. Alright. It's just the ship then. I'm gonna bring Liara and Kali for this. Uh, Liara, I'm going to give you boost in Varia, and Tali, I'm going to boost up your hacking. All right. We are immediately going to find Rachni, which is going to be fun, so let's go and uh, clear those out. over here somewhere. Any over here? I'm searching for the last one because I want that EXP. The soldier, there we go. Goodbye. Get the 
weapons. <laughs> Alright, let's go back the way we came. I love how Shepard runs for like two seconds and immediately is out of breath, which I can relate to because that's also me. Oh, damn. Okay, I got a chance to do it again. All right, fuck. I failed that. How did I fail that? I don't know. All right. I almost failed that again. I gotta, I gotta pay attention. Stuff from in there. Anything in here? Doesn't look like there's anything in there. All right. What about in here? Just the terminal. Okay. Good to know. Personal data recorder for Major Elena Flores. Play the first entry. Sigma twenty three is almost fully operational. The barracks and storage lockers are complete, and we've begun stocking the munitions. It's highly unlikely the Alliance will patrol in the Nebula. I expect our only risk will be from pirates, and who will believe them? Looks like we'll have space for two reinforced platoons of Cerberus Commandos. Cerberus? I do not think I have heard of that organization before. Cerberus again. Play the second entry. The package arrived today for field testing. I'm told they're fundamentally similar to the units being developed on Novaria. They promise this batch will be stable. Something about them developing in proximity to the Master Control Unit. We detected some pirates setting up an anchorage in a neighboring system. I think we'll try deploying them there first. Play the last entry. They've escaped containment. Clever bastards. We treated them like animals. We should have treated them like POWs. They're spreading. Boarding the supply ships and sending them to random destinations. They'll be all over the cluster in a week. General, if you recover this message, my advice is... Screw the Rachni. They're too smart. Use one of the other projects. Flores, signing off, for the final time. Arachni experiment gone awry, again. Let's go. The escape Rachni definitely comes from the station, and though the motives behind the service group are vague to prevent further containment, arm of the station scuttle charges to the factory to the Normandy. Once again, it seems that Cerberus is in fucking charge of this. Why am I not surprised? Thank you. All right, let's get out of here. And yeah, uh, if this is a if the me if the moral of the story of these group of missions is anything, uh, do not fuck with alien species. Uh, that's just the uh, the moral of the story. I'm think uh, me thinks. And with that, I think it's a good time to wrap up this part of Mass Effect. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell for no more notifications of when videos go up. And make sure to follow me on Twitter as well. If you watched up to this point, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time for more Let's Play Mass Effect. Take care.